Notion has just hit us with an absolute banger. Now, if you haven't been following along with Notion for the past few weeks, they have been sneaking and teasing us with something new and exciting. And the whole time I am just like, please be a calendar, please be a calendar update. Please, please, please be a calendar update. Sure enough, we did get an update to calendars, but it was even bigger than I could ever imagine. Now, I told you guys that I was gonna give y'all the tea. If you follow me over on Instagram, you would know first thing when these news comes out. So definitely make sure you give me a follow there. And now it's true. I really wanted to sit down and play with it and decipher some things. Like, let's be honest, Notion isn't the most user-friendly platform out there. And y'all know here on my channel, I like to break things down and make it easily digestible for someone who is new or just learning Notion. So I was fully expected to play around with it for a few days before I hop on here and give you guys the full tea. But I have to say, this is honestly one of the easiest features that I have experienced with on Notion. And I think you guys are gonna be able to jump right on into this. Hey, hi, hello, my name is Myra. I am your Notion Love and Slytherin. And if you're new here, we do all things Notion, productivity, and cozy techs around these parks. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any further videos. And while you're at it, definitely leave me a comment down below. Were you expecting this from Notion? Were you expecting to see a new calendar update? And if you're completely new to Notion and want to get into it in 2024, let me know what are some things that you're struggling with and what are some things that you have questions about? I'll definitely love to chat about it more down in the comments. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get on over to looking at Notion calendars. All right, so we are here over on Notion calendars. This is the web version, calendar.notion.so. However, they do have a Notion app that you can download for your desktop as well. That works pretty much exactly the same, but it has this really cool widget that I think is really sleek. It's on brand for Notion and I absolutely have it on my desktop. But for the sake of this uh, video, we're going to be showing you on the web. Again, it looks exactly the same. As you can see, I already have my Google calendars here. The things are in blue words with my podcast. And also, as you can see, I have things from my Notion calendar in here as well, which simply being able to sync these two calendars up is going to be a huge game changer for me in particular, because I usually, when I do my planning and content, and I usually have to have my GCal up, with my Notion and compare and contrast back and forth. Um, I know there is widgets out there that you can add your Google Calendar, but there is not a way to actually edit things within those widgets. So this is truly a game changer to have it all in one place and be able to edit and change things as well. When you download this or when you go to calendar.notion.so, it's very simple to go ahead and add in your Google Calendars per se. All you have to do is just click the sync. It's very similar to if you've ever used Google to log into a certain website, very similar to that. And it syncs everything right over in the flash. So not gonna get into the tutorial of that. Honestly, if you logged in with Google for any other website, you can do it with Notion Calendar too. It's very, very simple. However, for linking um, your Notion calendars that are already made, Notion will automatically send over the ones that they see as calendars. So if you have any database any database that has a calendar view, it should be able to come on over. I did have an issue with my master content database. For whatever reason, it did not come over automatically. As you can see down here, I have all these different calendars. These are all from different templates that I have within, um, honestly, like the 30 day challenge, monthly challenge. That is something that I am built in out and I don't per se use, so they are all hidden. What did not come over was my personal calendar and my content calendar, which I use on a day-to-day -day basis. But it's really a super easy fix. What you wanna do is go ahead and hop over to your Notion. And here we're over on my Notion within my master content database. And as you can see over here in the right-hand corner where you can click over to today, it will say open in calendar. So you'll just click that button and it will automatically be transferred over to your Notion calendar. So super easy if it did not come over automatically to go ahead and get the calendar over into Notion calendar. It's just a click of a button. So next up, the really cool thing that we can do is actually create a Notion page within Notion calendar. So in a sense, I don't even have to really open up Notion to go ahead and content plan for myself 
within the calendar alone. So let me go ahead and show you how that is done. So we can just go ahead and right click and create an event. And down here on the right hand side, we're going to hit docs and links. And then you can create a Notion page here on top. And if you want to create from something that's already existing, you can click one of those. But here we're going to create a new page. Let's just say game and stream. You can select the location of this, which for me will be in the content planning hub. So you can go through all of your databases to see where you're going to put it. If you have different workspaces, which I do, because I have a personal and a public one for like my templates and things of that nature, but this will go in my personal private one and I will just hit create. So that will be added to my notion as well. And we can go ahead and title it the same here on the right hand side gaming stream i really don't need a time and date or anything really doesn't matter so we can just select all day and there's that if you want to add participants you can add participants i don't per se have participants added on here location pretty much the same thing you can do with gcal you can do it within notion calendars so i really love the feature of being able to add it within my notion as well so that is done it is here on my notion calendar and let's go ahead and hop over and see how it looks within notion itself all right so we're back over to my actual notion here and as you can see here on the 17th i have the game and stream there now i can go in and add my further details like i like to add goals and stuff you guys know if you want to see a little bit more of how i actually content plan within notion i do have a video that i will leave linked in the card above as well as in the description below if you want to check that out you can go in and add in the different details actually select a template for it whatever i need to do i can go ahead and go in and do that so i really love that feature so if i'm on the go or if i just want to be able to like plan just in one place and go back to notion to add a little bit more details for my content i can now do that with notion calendars another cool thing with notion calendars is being able to view multiple calendars at once as you can see all of my calendars right now are being viewable i have my notion things mainly as content i have my podcast calendar from gcal as well as my personal gcal calendar and if i just do not want to see a certain calendar we can remove it just as easily as we can on over on gcal as well so if i don't want to see a certain calendar so let's say i don't want to see my personal calendar i can go ahead and hit this eyeball and hide it so this is my family one and it will remove um right now i just have one event which is on february 1st and as you can see it is gone if i want to remove like the podcast calendar all of the blue for the podcast is gone so you can really change it up and show whatever you actually want to see within the calendar if you just want to um, see like your gcal calendar you can hide all of the notion things as well so really simple really simple to organize it if you don't want like all of these birthdays and holidays you can take those out i love having at least the holidays added on to here um just so i can have an idea of what's going on and it's very helpful with content planning as well but if you don't really care to see like holidays or if you have a bunch of birthdays you don't want to see you can just easily hit the eyeball and turn it on and off super simple and we already know how to do this so this is one of the easiest things that notion has brought to their platform now up top here we can change our view just as well as any uh, calendar out there i usually like to look at my calendars as a monthly view but if you're more of a weekly person you can view it weekly and you can also change the number of days so if you just want like five days a week you can do it that way as well. So you really can just change it up to what you need. If you don't want the weekend, say you only use this for work, you can check that off and you'll get a Monday through Friday view. It's really however you want to view it. And what is really cool as well it, with this calendar is that you can just right click and hold and block out different times for yourself. So if you need to, if you like to do like time blocking or if there's certain times where you don't want people like to schedule appointments with you and show that you're unavailable, you can right click hold until the end of the time. And then it pops up an event right here on the right hand corner. So let's just say, I don't know, morning walk. And during this time, you don't want anyone to add anything to your calendar, any meetings or anything of that nature. So your mark yourself is busy. If this is something that you want to repeat, you can repeat there. If you 
held it at the wrong time. So let's say you meant to do 5 a.m. You can easily click that and it will move it for you. If you need to reschedule this from Wednesday to Thursday, you can easily just grab and hold. This makes it so easy to do like time blocking and really manage out your day. So the interface overall is very simple and very similar to what I am used to with like GCal and other online calendars. You can scroll up and down to get to different months. Like I said, you can organize it if you just want to see the weekly view, the work week view, however you want to view it, you can customize it and change it for yourself and what your liking is. This is just a real big game changer when it comes to Notion. And there you have it. That is Notion calendars for you. I told you guys it was going to be easy and something you can hop right on into. Let me know, will you be using Notion calendars moving forward? I'm definitely going to be moving forward using this. I love seeing everything in one space. It literally is exactly how I like to plan out my day in conjunction with the Notion platform. So I am really excited to continue to use it. And of course, I will definitely give you guys some more updates if I find any more new cool things that you absolutely need to know about Notion calendars. Now, if you wanna learn more about Notion and how you can use it to make your life the most productive it can be in 2024, definitely check out these videos here and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.